G'day, this is Alistair Christie, and in this video we're going to take a quick look at using disable controls to speed up your data processing. What I have here is a um, little application, it's basically a master detail type example. Um, we have customers, orders, and the employee. Um, it's an interface. Uh, if we go view data explorer, so we have um, customers, and for every customer, we have a bunch of orders linked by the customer number, and for each order, there is a employee, which I've labelled the salesperson. So um, these are just linked together. So in the orders, I'm using the master master source and master field uh, to link things up. So that when we run it, as we scroll through, it updates the the detail. And let's just close that. Now we have um, two buttons here. One is calculate mega phone number, which just goes through uh, all the phone numbers, adding them up. And so here we've got, um, well, basically it just goes through and calculates, strips out the hyphens and then adds all the phone numbers together. And the other function, uh, total all orders for all customers, it goes through and adds up all the um, amount paid fields for every, um, well, let's go into it. So for every customer and for every order within each customer, add up the amount paid. So rather unexciting. So let's just run this and calculate mega phone number and it takes over a second the first time through and adds up to 284 um, billion thereabouts. Before it again it takes a lot less time because um, it's all the data is already cached from uh, Interbase so the uh, client data set doesn't go and re-get the, the inf information. Um, but as you can see it's updating the user interface which um, so it's taking sort of 170, 180 milliseconds to add it up. Now, um, we can actually prevent it from updating the user interface to make the calculation a lot quicker. So to do that, we can go into Calculate Mega Phone Number. And if we come down, I can add cdscustomer.disableControls. And we need to enable the again afterwards. And if we run that, here we go, calculate mega phone number. It took 63 mil milliseconds. Um, basically, um, that was just to get some of the orders information. If we, if we do that again, it takes n no time at all um, because it's not updating the screen anymore. Um, so it's much, much faster. So most of the calculation time is, in fact, just about all of it, was involved in updating the screen. Now, we might think that worked really well. Let's do it for uh, total all orders for customers, or for all customers. <coughs> Actually, let's run that first of all and go total all orders for all customers and it's taken about one and a half seconds. Most of that time is getting the orders information out of uh, Interbase. So if we do that again, now that the data is cached, it's taking about 300 milliseconds. But it's still updating the screen. And we're getting about two and a half million as the total. So let's go into the code for that and go cds uh, customer dot disable controls and 
CDS orders dot disable controls. Let's copy and paste that. And we'll go enable and enable. And we run that. We click on it. Okay, it was really fast, but it's giving us the wrong wrong number. And the reason for that is that if we go into the total all orders, it's going through all the customers, but uh, what's happening is the orders aren't getting updated. So um, as it moves on to the next customer, it's not get, not retrieving the new orders. Uh, to fix that, we need to change the way the application is written, and um, I'm not going to go into that, but it's just something you can be aware of. However, if we uh, go back here and just get rid of the, um, oops, customer enable and or disable and enable con controls, it now gives us the right value and takes uh, a bit less time because it's not updating the order screen, um, but it's still not the best. One last quick thing. Um, if I run this and go calculate mega phone number, uh, we're no, now no longer on the first. Um, so if I select aquatic drama and go calculate mega phone number, uh, we'd like it to return to the same record. Now to do that, we need a bookmark. And we go um, dot get bookmark, um, or rather a bookmark is assigned CDS customer dot get bookmark. And then after we've um, done our our function. And go to bookmark, and we should also have a free bookmark. And now when we run that, so we're on the uh, first record. We go calculate megaphone number. We're still on the first record. And likewise, for on Divers Grotto, we're back to Divers Grotto. Um, and I think I've pretty much covered all I've got time for. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope you have found it useful.